residents of the Bayview community and the greater Milwaukee community. This is really a celebration. It's a celebration of the achievement of keeping the issue of worker rights alive for 122 years. Yeah. I was so pleased to see Mrs. Uh, Agnes Seidner here. It seemed strange to be doing this without our great leader, godfather really, of, of memorializing this event, not in our midst. But that's why we're here. That's why it's important to see the young people that are sitting here in the audience, sitting at the feet of the elders and teaching them about the history and culture, not only of the Bayview community, not only of the Milwaukee community, not only of Wisconsin labor history, but our place in the world. You know, some would say, well, why? Why do we want to celebrate an incident at the rolling mill that took a mere seven people's lives? I mean, what is that in the scheme of things? All over the world, we see people losing their lives daily for a variety of causes. Why, why are we navel gazing and focusing on this incident that occurred in the 19th century, way back in the olden times? Because the more things change, the more they remain the same. I had a labor leader visit me from Columbia just day before yesterday. Couldn't speak a word of English. And of course, I spoke very little Spanish, so we struggled along. But we had a very familiar conversation. And he talked about the labor leaders who fight each and every day for decent treatment and find themselves killed hundreds of thousands of them. And here we are today, gathered, memorializing the rolling mill incident so that we can say, never again, never anymore, and nowhere else in the world. That is why it's so important <laughs> to stand up for labor rights wherever they occur. There are no few lives that are not precious. And we have set the standard and the model for how to be, not only in Bayview, but in the world on this issue. Let me tell you that uh, there's another Jeremiah, who's been in the news uh, lately, but way back in the day, we had a governor, Jeremiah, that sent out a panicky militia to stop the activists that were in the street speaking for the eight hour work day. Let me tell you something, as I've traveled around the world and I see, I, I went to uh, South Africa recently, talked to labor leaders and they talked about how hard it is to get money from institutions like the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Institutions that as a member of the Financial Services Committee I have jurisdiction over. And it's hard to make a deal for decent wages because these institutions say, you know, in order to maintain good macroeconomics, in order to prevent inflation, and in order to keep the economics of the country going, you know, you have to put wage ceilings on. We're gathered here today in the Bayview area because those seven people who lost their lives have reminded us that 200 years later, we still have to stand up to those same, very same corporate interests that caused 15,000 people to hit the streets back 200 years ago. The more things change, the more they remain the same. say to the iron company rolling mill, you won't roll us anymore. Because as long as we can remember, as long as we've got Ken Germanson, as long as we have got Frank Seidler, as long as we have anything called the city of Milwaukee, 
we're always going to remember. I've been standing out here when it was cold. We've gathered here when it was raining. It happens to be a good day today, but it really didn't make any difference, did it? Because every year, we're going to stand for what we've always stood for. And that's the dignity of workers anywhere, anytime, and anyhow. Right now, we have people starving all over the world. And a whole lot of that has got to do with people ignoring the basic human rights and dignities of workers. I want to thank all of you for inviting me here today. I want to thank all of you who are part of labor and those of you who are not part of labor, the house of labor. I want to thank all of you for remembering. And I want to thank all of you who thought to bring somebody under 16 with you today so that we can keep this going on. Thank you so, thank you so very much.